Hello, my friends. So today, first, welcome if you're new and if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I am here at Home Goods to try to find some inspiration for my office. I'm getting ready to totally redo my office. I have so many ideas, but I am not one of those per people that can piece together a room like easily. Usually, if I see something in a magazine, and I like it, then I have to get everything in that magazine just like that and make it look just like that in my room. And I'm trying to come out of that. So I wanna to try to get some inspiration here from Home Goods. Home Goods always has something great. I'm hoping to find a piece of artwork that will put me on a, a, the right color path, something that makes me feel creative and calm and productive, you know, all that good stuff. Plus Home Goods is always fun to go look at. So let's get in there and see what they got. Okay, I'm not one to decorate for seasons. But if I had like an office with like that whole pink and gold look, how beautiful would this be? I mean, it's so pretty, right? Even something like this to leave out all year round would be so nice. Stuff like this, like I love it. But see, it's hard for me to like think of how to plan a whole room based on a couple of pumpkins. You see what I'm saying? I don't know. That one's pretty too. I love this kind of stuff. I just love looking at this kind of stuff, but I never have anything like this in my home. Like my home is not fancy whatsoever. I'm just not a fancy person. I never want my home to feel like it looks just like a magazine, like it's lived in, you know? My kids are young. I don't know. I think this stuff is so pretty though. These are pretty. $59.99. Pretty. I definitely need a new office chair. Really bad. These are pretty. Do you guys like this color? And leave a comment down below and let me know. What do you guys, if you have a home office, what are your colors? What works well? And I'll insert some footage of what my office currently looks like so you guys can see, but just trying to figure it out. Ooh, they're starting with the Christmas stuff. I love Christmas stuff. I just think it's so, like it just gives you those warm and fuzzies, you know? Love it. They have the Ray Dunn stuff. Thanksgiving stuff. What is this? Does it say? Uh, I don't know what this is. Just for a soup. And we have the gravy holder. I'm not into the whole Ray Dunn thing. I mean, I think it's cute, I guess. The, the font is just, I guess everybody knows it's Ray Dunn because of the font, but the font really doesn't do anything for me. But I think it looks cute all together like with everything matching and stuff. I'm here for a nice Thanksgiving platter. I would be here for that, you know? I'm not in the office section yet, I'm just browsing. So, you know, we like to browse together, girl. I always like to look at their like olive oils, balsamic vinegars and stuff like that. I usually have a good option here at a good price. Even some high-end oils. I remember seeing this in Costco, it was like a larger one in Costco, I think. Crown maple syrup, maybe not, I don't know. How much is this? I know, it doesn't have a price. I bet you that tastes good though. The honeys, I like to get my um, pure vanilla from here. A lot of times it's so so much cheaper. And I, what I find is with Home Goods, Home Goods is it's cheaper than TJ Maxx. Like if you go to a TJ Maxx Home Goods, it's a little bit more expensive, and then Marshalls is a little bit cheaper. But if you just go to a straight Home Goods, they're the cheapest I find, at least in my area. I don't know, could be different in your area. They have all these pink Himalayan salt, sea salt, really cool stuff. Lots of different oils. What? Oh, I bet you that tastes good. Dipping oil. Ooh. I bet you that's delicious. It's five ninety nine. Oh yeah. I make me want to tear some bread up, girl. Oh, here's all the Ray Dunn stuff. <laughs> Everything you can think of, Ray Dunn. <laughs> is right here. I do like the coffee cup my mugs. I think they're cool. I like a big mug. Um, I like that it's not perfectly round. Um, and like I said, it looks pretty all together, but if I just had this one coffee mug, I'd just be like, eh. You know, it doesn't really do anything for me. It's $5.99. That kind of coffee mug. And Soup bowls, anything like that. Let's eat, I still don't know what these are for. Are these just like soup bowls? I don't know. Bug. 
Hmm. Interesting. I like to look over here for like the hand soaps. Um, oh, they have like Wayman granite and stone cleaner. Which is this? $3.99. That's a good price for them because this is usually really expensive. I think I might get some quartz granite marble. Three in one. Clean, polish, and protect. Huh. You clean it and you polish it. Hmm. Okay, I think. Which one should I try? This one? Or Daily Clean and Shine? Or should I get this one where it polishes it? And this. Granite Quartz Stone Cleaner, $6.99. I wonder how they smell though. I love this kind of stuff, y'all. <laughs> I just love this little aisle. Um, I need a, a sponge thing to put. And I also need something for our brushes that we can put in. But, I was looking at this. Hmm. Instead of like, using Brillo pads, oops, sorry. Instead of using Brillo pads over and over again, you can just use something like this. And so, oh, this is a, for the grill. For the grill. I see. Do you guys use sponges at home? I know they, a lot of people say you shouldn't use a sponge. They hold so much bacteria and stuff like that. But I don't know. Sometimes I need a good sponge. The brushes sometimes just don't do it like they should. You know? So I'm thinking, like, what's so special about these? It says it's a natural sponge, all purpose, non scratch. Treat it with anti microbial microbial okay kind of expensive though at $2.99 is that a good price for these I don't know I mean because I just buy like a pack of sponges from Costco or whatever you know I've never tried like these fancy sponges oh there's a microfiber sponge back there how do you disinfect these though can you put these in the microwave I don't know or you just throw them away after they get dirty after a week Cause that wouldn't be worth it to me. I don't know, leave a comment down below, educate me y'all, if you guys know, cause I don't. This is what I need for the kitchen, cause I can put our um, scrubbers. I get them from the Dollar Tree, or um, I've got one from Ikea before. I can put them in here. Um, so I think I'm gonna get this. But, they also sell these little things here. Palm brush set looks like the, the thing you get from Grove Collaborative. Cute. Ooh, I really want to know what's so special about these sponges, though. I don't know. Let's see. I've heard a lot of things about Barkeeper's Friend. Like if you have a glass top um, stove top, this is the way to go. I don't, but I hear that it's like it works so well. Looks like the Barkeeper's Friend has a spray as well back there. And then we have the stainless steel cleaner by Wayman. That I hear works well. Here's the spray. You know, deposits. I bet you this would be great in a bathroom in a tub. Because sometimes those tub rings are so hard to get out. This is what you can use it on tile, porcelain, ceramic, fiberglass, aluminum, copper, brass, chrome, and glass, too. Okay, I don't want to get crazy. Let me just stay focused. Ooh, this is so pretty. I love it. I mean, it is giving me like cute office vibes with the gold but then it's like hard to find other gold things so if you really go with gold you have to stay committed you know this one's pretty too i don't know the gold just looks like it's not as cheap you know how much are they let's see i don't know i don't want to pull it down these baskets I don't know if I would need this based on the furniture that I plan on getting from Ikea. I, will, I should have enough storage to the point where I wouldn't need something like this. I am here for a pretty basket though. Um, $16.99. They're just so pretty. Like this Stuff like this makes me want to do my whole pantry over. Right? I just love this kind of stuff. I love a good basket really pretty all right let me go over here to my other favorite part which is the hand soaps they have all the pumpkin ones out because it's october and i love to smell october you know pumpkinies pumpkin harvest pumpkin all that kind of stuff october for october november so let me smell a couple and see i was hoping to find like fresh eucalyptus 
or something of a eucalyptus scent because I don't know I just find that it calms me down and they like research shows that eucalyptus is really good for like clearing your sinuses and all that kind of stuff and Lord knows I need that the pumpkin one it just smells so like strong like I would literally only use it on October November and then wait until the next year to use it now I'm here for a good lemongrass I can use that all day long but if something is like eucalyptus -y or minty I really really like that for the bathroom it just smells clean you know all right do I really need any soap right now no I do not okay so let's just get moving on over to the office stuff okay one other thing how cute are these for your bathroom the q-tips and then you can have one for the bobby pins and then little mini nail files let me see how much they are they are let's see okay so the tall one here is 9.99 so cute this one's 7.99 the, the bobby pins are 4.99 and the male mini nail files are 7.99 oh, i kind of want to get them but i'm not going to i just need to stop I don't need any of that. These are cute. I right? think those will look really pretty in the office, especially if you're going with the white furniture like I am. I'm assuming they're both 129. So pretty. But I think this is meant to be in a bathroom though. Because it's in the bathroom section. I would love this chair in my office. Look, it's on wheels. Focus. It's on wheels. It's so pretty. It's like a soft blush it's like super super soft blush pink and i'm not even like a pink girl like that it's almost like a it's hard to come off on camera it's not gray it's like a it's almost like a pink gray it's 1.99 and i can just put that in the corner or maybe in the bay window section of my office with a reading lamp and a little little desk right next to it like something like that i don't know though would i really use it <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing now this is why i need you guys to help me organize and you, you need to help me design what my office needs to look like. Oh, this is pretty. Because I am thinking about having like something like a dresser up against the wall. Um, just as storage for me and for like all my paper and planning stuff. And, you know, not paperwork because I have a filing cabinet for that. But just, you know, storage stuff like my laminator and stuff like that. It's pretty. This is so pretty. It's like a deep deep brassy gold not gold like this but like see how it's a little bit darker $39 I just think it's so nice it's not on wheels though why is it $39 I feel like it's on clearance oh yeah because it's wobbly it's pretty this one is too so can you fix that though I just think I like the way it looks aesthetically you know what else this is like the whole this section here but I think see I think all of this stuff is pretty this is where it's like hard for me to make a decision because and commit to something because I like it all <laughs> I like the wood look and I like the pink and gold and I like a blue and gold and I don't know oh that's pretty bracelets and bling it's cute Very cute I don't need any little notebooks but I'm just gonna look really quick because you know I love a nice notebook I mean, who doesn't? I mean, everybody needs a good notebook. Well, look at that one. It's on sale. $5. I'm not getting it, though. Have these organizers and command centers. This is what I have in my kitchen. I'm at a glance here. But, like, the markings are starting to fade. Now I feel like I need to get another one. I'm just going to make it work for now, but eventually I'll come back and get one. Okay, here's the section I really wanted to come to for inspiration. What my eye is drawn to? My eye is really drawn to this. I think the colors are pretty. It's blue, gold, turquoise. What do you guys think as in for me to plan my office based on this image? Like there's colors from this image. Like there's some beige in there so I don't have to go crazy with the wall color. Cause I showed how like my, where my office is, it's like an open plan and I wanted to like go with the rest of the house, you know? This one's pretty too. It has more green in it though, as opposed to blue. But it is pretty. This one's pretty too. I keep gravitating towards blue. I mean, blue was my favorite color growing up. I mean, purple is my favorite color now. But I love. There's something calming about blue, and I like the gold accents. This one's pretty too, but I don't like it as much. Maybe because it doesn't have gold in it. What do you guys think, though? I, I really value your opinion. So make sure you leave a comment and tell me. What about that one? Tell me which one is your favorite pretty too. I kind of want to buy this. It's $24.99. It comes with two. They're kind of small, but I would put them right next to each other on the wall that's opposite of the bay window. 
because right now I have um, a painting picture from Paris. Not from Paris, but it's like a, a painting of Paris, the skyline, and it's all gold, like a um, cream. But I think I just, there's something about this that I'm just really drawn to. I really like it a lot. Something like this. I mean, it's $3.99 though, girl, that's out of the budget, but you see how that looks really pretty with the blue? Look at me trying to be like Joanna Gaines. Huh? I don't even know what I'm doing. Ooh, look at that, it's so pretty with the purple and the black and the gold. I mean, it's not, like I wouldn't design my house in purple, but I just am so drawn to purple. It's such a pretty color, it's like my favorite. Now look at this rug. How pretty is that? I love it. Hold on. Ugh. Right, I mean, uh, I know they don't have to matchy match. I wouldn't want that to be matchy matchy, but. I think that would be a pretty option for me, right? I want to put a rug, even though I don't have hardwood floors in my office, I still want to put a, a rug down. This one's 129. Let me see what size it is. Okay. I have no idea if that's the right size for my office, but I really like it. This one's more, almost looks purple. Yeah, that's, that's too white, way too white. I don't know, I think that one might be the one, y'all. I'm not gonna get it now, because like I said, I have to mark it out and put the tape down on my floor so I could see how big it would be, and then also um, like the, the furniture that I plan on getting and paint and everything like that. But this one's pretty too. It's more uh, tan and a darker blue. I don't know, it's hard to tell with like just looking at a small section of it. You know, this one is prettier. And I would go with like a blue grayish color. Like I think a really subtle blue grayish color, color. That's like a cooler tone than what I currently have in my house. Gosh guys, I'm getting everything I need. I feel like you guys are here with me. I can't wait to read the comments and see so we can discuss. You know, I'm open to any suggestions. Let's see what else I got. Ooh, oh, this one's pretty. You guys like this one? Which rug do you like between this one and that other one I just showed you? Um, I think I like, let's look at the other one one more time. And I think I like this one because it's like, I don't know, it's just different. And then here's this one again. This one's a lot thicker, it's heavier. It's still $1.99 though. This one's pretty too. It's like all gray, no blue. I feel like it has blue undertones, but it's like way more gray. It's $2.99. Pretty. And this one, I don't like that one as much. But then this one is really pretty too. This seems like it's gray and cream. This one is $3.99 though, that's getting up there, I don't know. And it's a lot bigger, it's a nine by 12. I don't, my space is not that big, you know? Ooh, now this one's pretty. Let's see the picture. Mm, I feel like they're clashing too much, right? Uh, I feel like that's too much of a clash, what do you think? This one's pretty too, but it's way too big of a space for my space. That's it. See, I'm scared because it's like, you see one, well look at that one. That one's really pretty. It's not hung up yet though, or is this sold? I don't know, but I really like that one. I don't know, like I get scared because it's like, well should I buy the carpet right now? But I'm still like in the whole I need inspiration phase. I don't, I don't know how to do this, you know? Um, I really don't. But I'm definitely gonna get this artwork because at least I can come back to this and always try to keep looking at different um, home goods and TJ Maxx's and stuff for, um, for in, um, rugs. But um, I don't see any office chairs. That's the one thing I wanted to look at, to see if they had, but. Ooh, like this. I love this. It's kind of masculine, but I like it. It's a swivel chair. Really pretty, $2.99. It's nice. This is really pretty too. It's a little beautiful in an office, really anywhere. It's 129. It's on wheels. But like, what would you put on it though? I don't know. I just think it looks pretty. Ooh, they have the ghost chairs. That's pretty. How much are these? I don't have a price on them. That's dope though. Especially if you had like a makeup room or something. So glam. I'm not that glam though, so it just doesn't go with my personal aesthetic, but I like the way it looks. Oh, look at the mirror, it's so grand. Ooh. It's 
450 bucks. I never ever have a J. Ever. Man. I'm so happy guys because I finally feel like I found the inspiration that I need for my office because it's like decorating and interior design especially those of you who've been subscribed to me for a while you guys probably already know that that's just not my thing and I kind of just get complacent in what I have but then it kind of makes me not want to take pride in my space because it's not you know it doesn't look beautiful you know what I mean and I'm, and I'm not saying that I want my house to look like a magazine or super glam or anything like that but I do want to take pride in it so that it shows you know my style so I'm really happy that I found something that's going to help us get there because this is gonna be a journey both of us are taking girl because I need your input okay so let me just quickly show you what I got uh, home goods I ended up getting this safe spray spray away I hear that this, this is like works like magic and it's good on granite glass electronics wood and metal and I really got it because of the electronics part and the wood so I'm gonna try it out it was $3.99 I got the Wayman that I showed you the granite cleaner the three-in-one clean polish and protect I do not have a granite polisher so I, I want to start using this at least a couple of times a week then I also got the little caddy for my sponges and my brushes this is tall enough that I can put the, those brushes in there and just stick it on um, our sink so that they're out of the way and then I got the artwork that I showed you guys in the store like I'm just like so excited about this because I just think it's so pretty it's just so pretty and it has the beiges in there and it goes with the rest of the house and once I get that carpet down I think it's just gonna be absolutely beautiful Altogether, I spent $41.30. So because I got the inspiration I need, I'm not gonna go to Tuesday morning today. I will go in a couple of weeks. I'll go to TJ, um, to Tuesday morning and just film, you know, my first time reaction going to Tuesday morning. Leave any comments down below and tell me what are your thoughts on Tuesday morning? Am I wasting my time? Should I go? Should I not go? But what I am gonna do right now is go to Target because I need to pick up a few things. I'm traveling next week, so I need to pick up a few things as far as toiletry-wise. And I need to get my girls some more leggings for school they have to wear navy blue they can only wear navy blue leggings because it is starting to get cool here it was 55 degrees this morning so but I only have 30 minutes before it's time for me to get in that carpool line girl because that carpool line is intense and I'm trying to be there early so let's get over to Target all right so I only have 30 minutes I don't want to get caught up I might need to put the timer on my phone because you know how I can get girl it's been a while since I've been to Target but how cute are these little houses? Oh my goodness, so cute. I just, I'm here for them. They have like the little light that you could put on in there. It's such a cute like little fall look, you know? And then they have the garlands, pumpkin garland. So pretty. This is in the Halloween section, but like look at this. It's kind of chic looking. It's not necessarily just for Halloween, you know? It's cool. They're so cute. They're only a dollar. That's a good price for these. this type of a headband. My girls are really into them. These are like the Halloween ones. <clears throat> My girls will wear them any time of the year. I like the little cheetah. That's cute. I don't like the devil horns or anything like that. I don't, I'm not into that, but I think the unicorn ones aren't cute. And the cheetah ones and some cat ones. I think they'll like the cheetah ones though. I don't know how I got over here to the purse section, girl, but listen, I'm here. I was looking for a cute crossbody bag. Um, I just want an updated look for my crossbody bag. Like something simple. You can use every day. Like this is really chic to me. I like it. Easy to get in. Not too big. The bigger my purse is, girl, the more I lose stuff. So I'm not trying to go there, but I think that's really pretty. It's $21.99. I used to be into like really big bags, but like I'm over having a big bag anymore. Just want a cute crossbody everyday bag. Something like this. Let's see. This is really cute and chic. Oh, this is a crossbody or a backpack? No, it's a backpack. This one's kind of big, but you know the belt bags are super trendy, a little too trendy for me. So what they have over here. Something like this is cute. Like this. That's cute. What do you guys think? Are you guys into crossbodies right now? I like a good crossbody. I think it's something that you can just pick up and go. Mine I've had for years. It's like 
waterproof and all that kind of stuff. You know, I've had gummies spilt all over it, juice cups, <laughs> you name it, it's been spilled in there. I'm not going over to the kids' shoes. Should I? I want to. They don't need any shoes. Nope, I don't want it. We came here for leggings. I only have 30 minutes. Let me focus. Look what's in the clearance section. Don't tell me they're underwear, dude. 908 for these tops here. They look great for them for school. A little bit warmer. Like I said, it's getting cooler now. So, should I get it? I think I am. It's 908. Um, see if they have Ava size or small. Oh no, they just have mediums and larges. <gasps> Wait a minute, they have these sweaters. Which are these? 1048. What? All right, let me see. Let me focus. Able to find oops, one sweater. Ava size this one last sweater. Her size is popular. She takes a small 666. Zara is a 78, and they only had Zara size in this. These are each ten dollars. That's cheap. They're usually $14.99 or $12.99 for the top. Let me pick this up. I dropped it. So they have these warmer leggings. I think I'm gonna get their ten dollars off. But they're like lined, you know. They're really warm, so I think because my girls get really cold fast, so I don't want them to be cold at school. So I think I'm gonna get them each a uh, lined, warm pair of leggings and then a regular pair. I think those are the regular ones are like six dollars. I bought them a pair of leggings from Walmart. They just don't fit right. Um, they're too short. They're just oddly shaped for some reason. My girls, the the leggings from Target though, fit them a lot better, and they'll wear these underneath their skirts. Oh wait a minute, no, these have to be like. Plain, but they wear them underneath their skirts and skirts and stuff like that. Um, so, like I said, they won't be cold. This line is really pretty for an office too. Never think to come to Target for this kind of stuff, but I always forget that they have really nice things like this gold. But I'm trying to. I want to keep my desk clear though. I don't want to have a lot of little tchotchkes and stuff on it because that's when it starts turning into clutter for me. Look at this um, sugar scrub. Hmm. I did not know it makes this. This smells really good too. I tried. I smelled it. Oh my gosh! Look at this. This is my target for Mrs. Myers. Oh my gosh! First of all, I talked about this a couple months ago. This scent is everything. Everything you want for winter and Christmas is in this scent. It doesn't have like a Christmas tree scent. I don't know how to explain it. Let me smell it again. So it's like a, it just smells good. Like it's like, I don't know. Like you could use this all year round. It just smells so good. It's light, it smells like clean, like a clean Christmas. That would be the best way to describe it. It's called Snowdrop. And it's it smells really, really good. I'm thinking about getting some hand soap. Now this is my first time smelling this is my first time smelling this raindrop. Or no, rain water. Have you guys tried this one? I've never seen this in the store before. I saw it online, but I don't know. It smells like rain. I don't know if it does it for me. I don't know if I would want my whole house to smell like that. Then they also have the acorn. They don't have any more cleaners for the acorn, but they have this. And that is so, I mean, this is Thanksgiving and Christmas really Christmas actually and of course the apple cider who doesn't like the apple cider I mean if you don't like the apple cider I don't know what's wrong with you girl I really don't it smells so good that's fall all day I have mum at home already but I think I bought the Iowa pine now that is like where it's like the Christmas tree and I love the small fresh Christmas tree so anyway you gotta, you gotta get these scents, girl you know last time we talked my husband thought it was crazy because I was like getting so excited about these scents and he was like, what? It's just a cleaner. I'm like, listen, the Mrs. Meyer scents, they're seasonal, okay? It's a limited edition. And yes, we get excited for it. You know, peony, peony is my all-time favorite. So you know, I'm always getting that. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, let me get in here and get my Quest Bar so I can go get my kids. This is the line of Shea Moisture that I like to use. It's called the, the Intensive Hydrated Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil. <clears throat> Remember at Costco, huh? I remember I, I showed you guys um, that they had them on sale for $16.99 for a 34 ounce bottle. Well, now they have this big bottle, 19 and a half ounces for $9.99. Now, usually it, it was, 
I want to say 10 to 12 ounces or something like that. So that's probably a, a good deal. I didn't know that. I've never seen them in this size bottle before. And these are all the different lines that they have. They have all different lines. Okay, so I made it in time to pick up the girls. We're home. I'm embarrassed to say how much we spent at Target, but let me show you what I got. Okay, starting off with the stuff that was on clearance as far as um, uniforms for the girls. They only had this in Zara size. Again, it was $9.08. It was originally $12.99, so I picked one up for her. Then they needed another sweater. I bought them one sweater from, where was it, Children's Place, and within a week, there was a hole underneath the arm and, and Ava's. It was just, I don't know, the quality just wasn't there. So um, I've gotten them sweaters from Target before. I like that these are a little bit longer. They'll look nice with the leggings, even though the blues are off. Oh well, we'll just have to deal with it. Um, the price of this was $10.48. It was originally $14.99. Then I got them the leggings that I showed you, the warm ones for Phil. That's our Phil inside of there, baby. Um, so it'll be nice mommy, and comfy. Berkeley what? has some pants like this, mm -hmm. but this part is on here. Oh, I see. And then I got them regular leggings as well. Another pair of regular leggings. And then the same with Ava, the same sweater and the, the leggings. Then I bought them each um, two headbands, the unicorn ones and the cheetah ones. I just thought they were really cute. We needed a new toothpaste. These are expensive. This was $4.99, this was $3.99. I use this uh, toothpaste and the girls use this. They're both four I, Sometimes I use this one. Mm -hmm. I also bought myself some Quest bars for when I'm traveling mm, and some new wet ones. Girl, all together I spent $89, but it was mostly the uniforms. So I do have a budget for the girls, uh, like a, a monthly allowance in case they need new clothes. I mean, they grow like weeds. You never know when they're gonna need new stuff. So that will mostly come out of there, but I also have a target budget for myself every single month, um, and then the rest of the stuff will come out of there. But that's what I got. I mean, I'm really happy. I'm so happy with the inspiration I found in that painting. I can't wait to see how it's gonna look, how my office is gonna look. Now I feel like I could really focus on paint colors. Um, but leave any suggestions down below, please. I'm open to hearing any suggestions that anybody has. So. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, you can tap my picture up above. And you can also check out my previous video right over here and all of my social media platforms all listed down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.